Hello, my name is John Tingerthal, and I direct the construction management program here at Northern Arizona University. I'm going to provide you with a quick overview of the curriculum here in our program. I'm going to start on our web page, and as you can see here, this program is designed to prepare students to enter the construction profession and quickly advance into a leadership role. This diagram provides a map of how students will progress through the program. You'll see in red here we have courses that are basic math and science courses. We have our blue courses here, which are the liberal studies courses, and students have to take a few of those throughout their career. Um, we encourage them to take a, a course like Spanish as their modern language requirement. Also, as part of our program, um, the students will receive a minor in business. You can see in green here we have the courses that are part of the business minor, and those are taught in the business college for us. The courses indicated in orange are the courses that we teach specifically in the construction management, and I'm going to walk through them just so you have an idea of what the different courses are. In, your first, in the first year, the students are going to take an introductory course, CM120 here, CM 130, which is our introduction to computing, and then a Methods 1 course. So if we jump over to the website, we can see the description of these courses. 120 is just an overall view of, of how buildings interact with the human environment. 130 gives the students an introduction to a lot of the software tools that they'll need both in their um, academic and um, professional careers. And CM 123 uh, in the spring term is our methods one. So it primarily right now concentrates on residential construction, but it introduces students to the basic building materials. You can see also on this page the other um, courses that the students take in their first year. Jumping on to the second year, you'll see we have a methods two class, a graphics class, and then the first of our integrated lab. The integrated lab jumps between 200 lab, 300 lab, and 400 lab, and I'll talk about those separately. Um, also in the second year, we have our structures course, surveying, and concrete and masonry. So let's take a little look at what those look like in their course descriptions. Construction graphics is primarily a plan reading course where the students are introduced to uh, different documents and they start to do takeoffs and, and figuring out the, their drawings. 223 is, is a continuation of 123 where the students are introduced more to constructual, con commercial construction. And then we've got our um, structures class, 220, and then a couple of materials classes. So we're seeing here 225, which uh, introduces concrete and masonry systems, and then finally uh, surveying and building layout. So by the end of the second year, they've been introduced to a lot of the construction materials and, and basic tools that they're going to need. You also can see here there's some options. They can take the surveying course offered by civil engineers, um, and then they have some of their uh, business classes as well. The integrated laboratory, CM200L, 300L, and 400L, are unique to the program here at NAU. We developed this back in 2012, and, and it allows the students to get some real hands-on experiences. Um, it's co-convened, one-credit lab, and the 200L students um, are basically building a little commercial mock-up. The 300L students are designing that markup, and the 400L students are managing the process. We call this the C4P, or Construct for Practice program. And as you can see here, we've got students who are actually out there working and getting their hands dirty. And as the students go through these different courses, they get the experience of doing the same project um, multiple times from the different perspectives. In the junior year, the students are getting into a lot more of the meat and potatoes of the curriculum. So here we've got the more advanced courses in steel design and soil mechanics. Um, the tech writing class comes in in the third year. And then scheduling and estimating are, are so closely linked that, that they're, they're required to take them at the same time. Um, in the second semester of their third year, there's a course in mechanical, electrical, and plumbing and then an overall safety class where the students will earn their OSHA 30-hour card. Finally, the, they have their opportunity to take their first of three electives, and those are electives that we offer in different areas such as integrated project delivery, um, advanced topics in heavy highways, sustainable construction, and there's some other options as well. So let's look a little bit more at the third-year courses. 
You can see the 331 course in Structural Steel System gives them an opportunity to uh, go through the whole process of, of looking at a steel structure. Um, a little bit of engineering in there and a lot of logistics. 360 gets into soil mechanics and also construction equipment. Um, introduces the students to, to a lot of earth moving uh, equipment and whatnot. Our technical writing class, 302W, allows uh, gives the students a lot of opportunities to to really dive into construction specific documentation writing writing letters um, looking at RFIs proposals um, and and other documents that that we use in the construction industry um, estimating and scheduling are two core classes in our program and the students will produce a, a full construction project schedule and, and take a, an estimate and, and really figure out beyond just um, the material estimate but also general conditions and, and other things that are related. In the spring of the second term of the, of the junior year, you'll see we have our mechanical and electrical systems where we're introduced to the different systems and, 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 and how they relate to, to buildings. And then our safety course here as well, safety and risk management. Finally, in the senior year, the students are taking the project administration course, operations course, and then a capstone course. And again, they're taking the electives, and they've also got some of the other business and liberal studies courses that they have to take. So when we look at our construction project administration course, we'll see that the students are given opportunity to look at contracts, laws, and regulation regarding construction. And when we get into our operations course here, we're getting into more of the supervision and planning of, of construction projects. Finally, in the senior year, all students at the university are required to do a capstone course. And we call it CM490C. And this is where they get to uh, work on projects and integrate really all the information they've learned throughout the, um, their entire curriculum. Beyond just the courses that we offer, the program at NAU provides the students with many other opportunities, including scholarships and, and, and opportunities for internships, as well as a very active student organization called CMO. This brief summary of the curriculum at NAU provides you with an overview of, of the program here. And we invite you to look into our program a little bit closer by exploring our website. You can see the title up at the top. Thank you.